Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna be reviewing some of the new Bath & Body Works scents that came out, the spring summer collections. And some of them are repackages and some are new to me but old to y'all a little bit because I'm kind of behind on my videos. But let's just get straight into it. So we have like these type of collection um, that came out with this packaging. So Pink Pineapple Sunrise, I love this one. This is not new, this is a repackage, but it did come out with the same little packaging, so I wanna include it. In the case, if you guys haven't tried it, even though I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already tried this one. The notes are Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drenched Nectar. So it's a pineapple nectar sugar smell. It's very, like basically like a sweet pineapple. It smells so, so good. I love the pink packaging on this too. I always said that I want them to make a pineapple scent and this is it. This almost kind of reminds me of a pina colada a little bit too. Um, it's just a very sweet juicy pineapple scent and I just love it. It's one of my all time favorites and this is perfect for summer. This is pink pineapple sunrise. One of the best pineapple scents ever to me. Here's another repackage but in the same new packaging. Uh, this is coconut pineapple and it's exactly what it says, a coconut pineapple scent. Shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, and sugar cane are the notes. So a sugary pineapple coconut scent. It's almost like a sweet but yet kind of warm musky coconut pineapple scent. Also perfect for summer. Yeah, it's just a really like juicy coconut pineapple scent. Now this one is definitely heavy on the coconut, whereas this one's like mainly juicy fruity. So yeah, both pineapple scents, but two different takes. So yeah, if you like the more coconut route, you'll like coconut pineapple. If you like the more juicy one, um, juicy fruity pineapple drink like I like, then you'll like pink pineapple sunrise, so yeah. The next one we have is Golden Mango Lagoon, and it's in a cute little orange bottle. The notes are Sunny Mango, Saltwater Woods, Coral Blooms. So this smells very like mango orangey to me. Um, this is a new one. I think they always compare it to Mango Mai Tai, but I don't know, this one is like a very juicy mango orangey scent with that Saltwater Woods, definitely a different combo. It does smell like Saltwater Woodsy scent and those two don't even really go together mixed with like a mango orangey scent, almost kind of like a air freshener. Like this almost could be like a car air freshener to me. It smells good. Um, I don't know which one's better, Mango Mai Tai. Kind of like that one a little bit more, but this one is very nice. This is Golden Mango Lagoon. Here we have Fresh Jungle Rain in a blue bottle, which is perfectly fitting. The notes are Rain Kiss Palms, Amazing Dragon Fruit, and Misty Breeze. So pretty much like a fresh floral. Fruity, fresh, fruity, floral. So this one is pretty fresh. It is like a misty, kind of almost like outdoorsy, breezy, a little bit of dragon fruit scent. It is like a fresh scent, but it's like unique fresh. It's not like your typical laundry or even like aquatic, even though it has like an aquatic feel to it. I'm not really getting a ton of the um, dragon fruit. It, again, it's almost also smells like an air freshener a little tiny bit. Like, I don't know, I can't really explain this one. It's just like kind of like fresh. I don't smell a lot of the dragon fruit in here. Like it mostly smells like the rain kiss palms, aquatic palm, like outdoorsy kind of scent mixed with that misty breeze. It's low key almost giving me like juniper breeze vibes a little bit, like that type of unique scent. Even the blue bottle to match and everything. This is unique, so I'll give them that. This is Fresh Jungle Rain. Next we have Watermelon Mojito. I really like that name. And another fitting color green bottle, very pretty. This is Watermelon Soda, Pink Rum, and Cane Sugar. So watermelon mojito, it definitely smells like the name. It's definitely a watermelon scent. It's kind of juicy, could be compared to pink watermelon, but they are different. I definitely smell like the sugar, the pink rum, and the watermelon in here. Almost smells like that watermelon candy. And it smells like the pink watermelon spray. So if you missed out on pink watermelon, which always reminds me of Kayla Michelle because she loves that, that fragrance, 
Um, I think that if you like pink watermelon, you'll definitely like this watermelon mojito. That's a, such a mouthful. Um, but yeah, this is a nice watermelon scent and perfect for the summer to me. Here we have another one um, that's a repackage. This is fresh coconut and cotton. I think Chloe Yasmin loves this one. It says it's fresh and gets her compliments. The notes are coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. So basically like a coconut, breezy, cotton, fresh scent. So basically to me, this just smells like a very light coconut cotton scent. Like you have clean clothes and you have on like a uh, coconut like body spray almost. Like that's what it kind of smells like to me. This is nice and I don't even like coconut scents, but this I think I can get behind. This is Cloud Nine in the same packaging. I think this is another repackage. This is Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, Cozy Amber. This is a very like warm, fresh floral. I definitely smell the lavender and the amber. It's like a very sweet, warm, fresh floral scent. It's nice, I'm not really big on lavender, but it is a nice fragrance. Here we have Sun Blooms and Suede. The notes are white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. Hey guys, sorry, my camera died and it's a different day, but don't mind that. So when my camera died, I believe we were on Sun Blooms and Suede. The notes for Sun Blooms and Suede are white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. I don't know, it like smelled good at first to me and then it started smelling like disgusting to me, I don't know. It's like good and bad at the same time. It just, I don't know, maybe it might be the white raspberry scent, but it's like tart and off smelling on my skin. So I don't really like this one. Like I keep going back and forth between liking it and then not, but I just think I don't like it because it smells like really tart and off and just weird and kind of nasty on my skin. So yeah, some of these notes in here are definitely throwing it off for me. So I don't think that I like this one that much. And the last new one from that collection is Indigo Dreams. The notes are bergamot water, glowing amber, and warm musk. The bottle almost reminds me of like jeans or something. Indigo Dreams to me does smell good. It's like a fresh scent. You definitely smell the bergamot, which is super fresh, and you do smell the water. It's like a fresh, aquatic, musky scent, which is basically all fresh and clean. The amber is kind of warm, but I really do smell that bergamot water, like that bergamot, aquatic, fresh, musky scent. It almost kind of smells like clean skin to me. I don't know, maybe it might just be me, but it smells like freshly washed skin. This doesn't have much of a scent to it. I don't know, it's okay, and I really like it sprayed in the air, but on my skin, it's like almost like a skin scent, and it's super light. It low-key reminds me when it dries on my skin a little bit like Kaleidoscope, that old Bath & Body Works spray, mixed with a little bit of Lakeside Citrus. Like, that's what this reminds me of, like, those two together. Um, I don't know, it's, I guess if it smells like that's not that different. I mean, it is different, but it's not that different since it kind of reminds me of those two scents. But yeah, if you like a clean, musky, aquatic bergamot with a hint of warm amber, I think you'll like this. Or like clean skin. But yeah, so that's what that reminds me of. But this is Indigo Dreams. Here we have Among the Clouds. This is a popular one that a lot of people like. The notes are Wildberry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. I love the bottle. This smells just like the notes. It smells like berry and vanilla, basically like a sweet scent. Not super gourmand, but it's like feminine, girly, and sweet. Could be a cousin low-key to like pink chiffon or like like that type of sweet, girly, feminine scent notes. I can't remember if this was a repackage or not. Um, I don't know, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, it literally smells like the notes, berry and vanilla. It's decent, like medium strong. But this is a nice little girly scent. So if you like sweet scents of berries and vanilla together and like to smell feminine and girly, this is probably the one for you. This is Among the Clouds. Here we also have one of their new ones. This is Coco Paradise, it just came out. The notes are salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli, and bronze sandalwood. Now y'all know how I feel about coconuts. I don't like coconut scents like that. It has to be like a fresh or watery, like coconut water or something like that. But I really don't like coconut scents, but I do love the packaging the most on this bottle. It really does smell like the salted coconut neroli and the sandalwood. 
it's like a warm yet like fancy coconut scent if you like coconuts you will really like this one i literally smell all three notes very strong this is actually kind of like a strong one i don't know how they do it but i really do smell that salt in this coconut that's crazy this smells like you're in like a ritz fancy like coconut cabana you're in a cabana smelling like just straight expensive coconuts this is a really nice sophisticated coconut scent for sure and it's a salted but sweet coconut scent as well I don't know I'm kind of like I'm kind of warming up to this one a little bit because it really does smell good and again I don't like coconut scents that's like blowing my mind right now a perfumey sweet a little bit floral salty expensive fancy coconut so if that's your vibe I think you'll like Coco Paradise here we have a faceted bottle this is pastel skies the notes are soft cloudberries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. So a berry sugar, coconut musky scent. This is in the faceted bottle, pretty. So the notes are accurate again. It smells like a musky, coconut, sugary berry scent. It's sweet and then really warm because of that coconut. It's almost like candy sweet, but then like coconut warm musky sweet as well. This is interesting like to put those two together. It's like a really sugary coconut almost to me, but with a hint of berries, but I do mainly smell like a sugary, sweet, like coconut musky scent the most. So like basically a coconut sugar. So if you like coconut scents, I think you'll like this one as well. This is Pastel Skies. And this also kind of has like a syrupiness to it to me as well on my skin. It kind of smells like syrupy a little bit. I don't know, it has like a sugary syrup smell to it as well, so. The next one is a vanilla mocha martini. The notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. I think this is a repackage of the cafe line, I believe. The vanilla mocha cafe. It's in a faceted bottle again. This is literally a sweet coffee scent. It smells like you just walked into Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts and grabbed a coffee and you're sitting on your laptop with your friends or family or a significant other, just basically eating donuts and drinking coffee. Like that's what this smells like in a faceted brown bottle, literally. I smell the cappuccino, the vanilla orchid, and the tonka bean. It's just a super sweet coffee scent. This smells good, definitely repackaged for a vanilla mocha cafe from years prior they just changed it to martini which it doesn't smell like a martini at all but um yeah a lot of people like this one i'm happy they brought it back even if it has a different name but this smells really good so if you like coffee scents you will like vanilla mocha martini and the last one that's new but i missed out on before that i didn't get to try until now this is dream bright the notes are sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. So another vanilla floral berry scent. And my bottle came a little scratch. I don't know what's up with that, but y'all will see. But yeah, I like the packaging though. It has this glittery like royal blue sparkles. Very pretty. And you guys can see my bottle is like scratched up on the back. I don't know why on the packaging. So that kind of sucks, but... It's all right. So I heard that Dream Bright was compared to my favorite mist of all time and my favorite mist on Bath & Body Works, Dark Kiss. That is my favorite scent, so many memories. I met people wearing that. I got so many compliments on that all the time. So they compare Dark Kiss to Dream Bright. So I don't really think that they're like dupes for each other, but they could definitely be like distant cousins almost. So this is almost like a dark, sexy night scent for sure. Like you would wear this out on the town. When you do first spray it, I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of instantly smell like Dark Kiss like a lot. But when it dries down, it does have its own scent to it. So that's why I don't think that these are dupes. But when you first spray it, absolutely. It kind of does instantly remind me of Dark Kiss, but it's not, this ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's my favorite. I like this too, but that's my favorite. That's my baby right there. Even though they reformulated it and changed it. <laughs> I don't know why they do that to all the scents, but we're not gonna get into it in this video. That'd be another video. But yeah, I really instantly do smell that night blooming orchid, that night blooming perfect name because this is definitely a nighttime, again, sexy, you're out on the town with your friends, clubbing scent. And then I do smell that berry, that kind of sweetness. This is like a dark berry, probably like 
blackberries or something. It just smells really good and dark, deep and fruity and just sexy. I smell a little bit of the vanilla. It's not sweet like vanilla to me at all. It has like a hint of vanilla, but it mainly smells like a dark berry floral scent. Again, if you wanted to try to get like a scent comparison, I would say at first it does smell and remind me of Dark Kiss, but on my skin it has its own scent. But I really do like this one as well. So I might have to get a backup with this one. This is Dream Bright and I do like this one. Okay, so we finished all the new scents. Even if it's old to y'all, it's new to me because I missed out on a lot of the collections because y'all know I was gone. If you watch my video where I've been, I did talk about where I was at, but y'all already know probably. But okay, let's get right into the rankings. It's really hard to rank these because I do like a lot of them. Okay, so my top three favorites of this haul is Dream Bright, Vanilla Mocha Martini, and Among the Clouds. And I also really do like Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I know Chloe Yasmin always raves about this one. And my three least favorites is Golden Mango Lagoon, Coconut Pineapple, and my very, very least favorite, it smells so tart and off putting on my skin. This is Sun Blooms and Suede. So yeah, that concludes it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite or least favorite? Um, what would you get out of the line? Let me know. I love to chat with you guys down in the comments below. And let's pretty much just get right into my positive message of the day real quick. I just want you guys to always remember that you are important, your life has meaning, and you have value. Yes, you. I always say if you're going through a tough time, lean on your higher power or whatever you believe in. I believe in God. I believe that prayer is so powerful. Ask and you shall receive. And whenever you go through a tough time, just lean on your higher power and prayer because you can't do it alone. I know I can't. And um, yeah, I just want you guys, if you're going through a tough time, I want your mental health to be good. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep pushing. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. Always remember that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video on the road to 6K. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And on that note, leave a pink emoji flower for me if you want to see more videos and me review more stuff. I have more on the way. It feels so good to be back. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next videos. See you later, guys. Be blessed.